What's going on everyone? I'm Corey. Welcome back to another episode here on Offbeat Motors. Today we're going to be on the Jeep Gladiator and more particularly we're going to be doing a cabin air filter. So right off the bat, I know some of you are probably saying it's a Jeep. Why do you want to do a cabin air filter? I mean the top does come off, the doors come off. Yes, you're right. It's basically a convertible. Actually better than a convertible because all of it comes off. But for me particularly, and I know I'm not alone out there, I suffer from really bad allergies. And springtime, especially here in Texas, is one of the worst times for me. What happens is like this time of year, the pollen and everything's so bad that it will basically render me useless. It takes me right out. My eyes get all puffy and they start running, they sting. Um, my sinuses get all clogged up. It, it's kind of like I have a really bad cold. It's, it's sometimes hard to breathe. Um, it can cause coughing, which is weird. You won't, most people don't associate coughing with allergies, but it will actually can cause some um, coughing fits, but it's just allergies. Um, and it lasts for a little while. Summertime rolls around, it goes away. Springtime, it comes back a little bit. Wintertime, it's all right. It's just springtime is like really bad. So I actually have to leave everything on the vehicle. I can't take it apart. So if I wanna leave the house, I gotta make sure that I can breathe while I'm leaving because I can't really be outside that much, which sucks because I like the mountain bike and I wanna do more of that, which is a different, different issue all on its own because I wanna do some more of that. But this, I need to make sure that I can breathe when I'm driving it. So when it comes to the Jeep Gladiator or the Wranglers of the same vintage, the JLs, JLUs, it's underneath the, the dashboard on the passenger side where the glove box is. Some vehicles, not all, will actually have it under the cowl or the wiper, so you gotta go in through the hood. That's how my Challenger was, and that's how a lot of other vehicles are. But for the most part, I think most of the vehicles have it under the dash on the passenger side. I want to say there were some BMWs or Mercedes also that may have two cabin air filters, so one on each side. Uh, don't quote me on that, but I think some vehicles have two. This only has one though. So this this is what I picked up. This is just from a guard. Um, I got this from O'Reilly's, not a sponsored thing. I paid full price for it. And the reason I do it myself is because it's a lot cheaper than going to a dealership. This is something you're not comfortable doing. You can definitely go to a dealership, but they're going to charge you an arm and a leg for it. And it really isn't one of those services that is worth it. So for instance, I called a local Jeep dealer just to see how it was or how expensive it was on my Gladiator. And it was almost $150. I paid 14 bucks for this filter. There are some other filters you can get too that have like, uh, they're like HEPA filters and stuff like that with better filtration. They're gonna cost a little bit of extra money. Megard's one of the cheaper ones. Um, OEM's gonna cost you a little extra money, but still, I would say probably less than $50 max you can buy a filter and you can do this yourself. So let's go ahead and do it. First thing, open the door. You got your glove box open it and reveal all your stuff to the people. Then turn the light on, drop it, put it back. And on this particular vehicle, what you're looking for is this rod right here. Let me see, there it is, that rod. Uh, we need to disconnect that rod first thing. So the way you do that, is push the glove box in a little bit reach down that pop means it's disconnected and you can just pull it out so you basically pull up on it next there is put the light here right up here we need to push this up so we got to Put the glove box up a little bit because we need to clear it and we're going to reach in push that up and it clears from there just remove the glove box now comes the real fun part so 
this is where your pollen filter is. This is everything that's behind here, your heater box, all that, the exchanger. Um, it's either here or over here. Either way, your air is going to come in. On um, this particular vehicle, it comes from the top, comes down. The blower motor is right up in this area right here, so you would get to that underneath here. It brings the air, brings it around, and then distributes it to your vents. So right here, pull that out, and there's your filter. To get it out, that's all there is to it. Okay, so here are the two filters side by side. Old filter, new filter. As you can see, one is way wider than the other. This particular filter has been in my Jeep for, I've owned this for almost two years, 18,000 miles. I should have changed that. Uh, generally, you want to do this about once a year. And that's your new one. So this is what we're going to put in, and that's what we took out. Should not look like that. Should look like that. So let's go ahead and put that in. Okay, so before you put it in, you need to know the airflow, and it should be marked with the airflow. As you can see, ours is pointing down, which is exactly how our airflow goes. It comes from the top, from the outside of the vehicle, and down and in, and then gets dispersed. What you do on this particular vehicle is you take the two ends, and you pinch them together, slide it in, like so. Just like that. The reason you have to pinch it is because here's looking straight on it actually goes behind so you have to pinch it to get it around and in that's all there is to it so once you got the cabin air filter in you gotta put your cover back on just like that now it's time for the glove box okay so the glove box is going to go into here it has on the bottom those like feet that have to go into those holes they line up and they go into them so reconnect the uh, strut bar because this is kind of like a shock absorber you're going to reconnect that push it in and then push it down you hear the click close that's it done and over with and that's how you change your nasty cabin air filter to a uh, good cabin air filter in your jeep gladiator this Throw it in the trash because you don't need that bad boy anymore. And uh, that's all there is to it. So I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that blah 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 stuff. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.